Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, help us to see a way through to be true, to help one another, to, Lord, to find the way to love one another, even though sometimes we're really hard to love. And sometimes we find others hard to love, but Lord, give us the humility to see, first of all, how tough it is for us to be put up with, for, for people to deal with our quirks our, and our weird in, in insecurities. Lord, we ask for a confidence that doesn't come from what we think we can do, but what you have determined for us to do. Lord, help us be courageous in that, courageous in our faith in such a way that we, we show others your love through what we do. And it's not about our great accomplishments, but about what you want us to offer one another. Maybe it's a quiet moment. Maybe it's just being present. Maybe it's listening. Maybe it is sharing our worldly wisdom. Lord, often it's together discovering what wisdom and truth really is. So help us on that journey. Help us to listen well to your word, to what people Lord, want to express, Lord, to what all creation is expressing to us. Lord, you built, you created, you've put in place a wondrous existence for us. Help us to discover it in all its wonder, to appreciate the, the work that other people bring to this. But Lord, even the incredible complexity of a beautiful tree or what lies beneath the stillness of a pond or the joy in loving a simple fuzzy creature. Lord, let all things serve you and bless your name. This in Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I don't know if you can quite see her. There's my fuzzy little friend, and she's going to give me a hand with this because today's devotion looks at Psalm, reading in Psalm 38 at verse 9. You ready? You're going to help me with this? Lord, all my desire is before thee, and my groaning is not hid from thee. Now, this is Lady here, and she whines and sucks on me all the time, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, you're not whining and sucking, you're purring. And she'll meow and meow and meow and meow and meow, and I have to listen to her groaning all the day long. But in all that her groaning is not hid from me, even more so, God's, God's listening ear is upon my life, upon your life. And all the things you're frustrated and you're going through and whether you're getting your way or you're not getting your way, God is there listening, hearing your prayers, helping you see how the answer to those prayers is already happening, already in place, already moving. Awakening us through time spent in Scripture to what God's Word is saying. That our desires might find their fulfillment in more than just our agenda, in more than just what we want. That our great desire will be for the love of God will be for the service to God, will be for the care to our community. And so we offer up our prayers, not for God to do our will, but for us and all our desires to discover the will of God and rejoice and find fulfillment in the way God answers our prayers and helps us to see that our great desire is to live in God's love and to share it with one another. God bless and keep you. Amen.